Recently, I unboxed the Omtech 30 watt MOPA fiber laser. It has been an amazing learning experience, but I keep getting questions about how you connect it to Lightburn. Today, we're gonna show you. My name is Jim, and this is the Edutech. So you might know that Omtech sent me over their 30 watt MOPA laser to test out. It's not a review unit, it's actually a loaner. And I'm having an absolute blast with it, if I'm being honest. But when I first started using it, I made the decision right out of the box, right out of the crate, that I would just start using Lightburn software. There's EasyCAD 2 out there as well, and I just did not want to learn two different softwares when I'm trying to learn a new laser. So I went straight for Lightburn, no EasyCAD at all. So this video is gonna be a step-by-step -step guide on how to set your fiber or MOPA laser up in Lightburn. Just get it on and connected, that kind of thing. Let's do it. The first thing you wanna do is make sure you have Lightburn downloaded and installed on your computer. There's a link in the description below if you wanna to go to Lightburn and grab their free 30-day trial. This is a paid software at the end of the 30 days, but I promise you it is worth it 1 million percent if you're doing anything with lasers. To start, we're gonna jump in the Lightburn website, click the download slash trial tab in the top, and then scroll down about halfway. You'll see a few different software versions and you wanna use the one that's best for you. In my case, I'm gonna use the 64-bit Windows version and click on that right here. Once it's downloaded, you wanna to go to the folder where you downloaded it, in my case, it's the downloads folder, and double click the install file. This will begin the install process and I usually just accept the defaults and click next, 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 so it does the defaults and installs pretty quickly. Once that installs, it's actually gonna pop up a window asking about drivers. I usually select the top two because I use a bunch of different lasers and that'll install the drivers for pretty much what you use. But in this case, what we need to install is that EasyCAD 2 driver. Uh, this does work with EasyCAD 2 lasers. If you're using EasyCAD 3, not so much right now, but hopefully soon. Once you start the install on the driver, it will complete. All you have to do is click finish and we're done installing the drivers as well. Now grab your USB cable and plug it into your laser and into the computer, and then make sure your laser is powered up and ready to go. Now Lightburn should already be opened at this point because it's part of the install process to open automatically when it's done, but if it's not, go ahead and open it now. Once you do, if this is the first time you've opened Lightburn, it will pop up the registration window, and you want to click on that start free 30-day trial button. From whatever day you click that, you'll have 30 days to use this software. If you already have Lightburn, you're going to need to upgrade your license to be able to use the fiber lasers. Speaking of trials, are you on the hunt for a one-stop shop for all your project needs? Well, look no further than PCBWay.com. They've got everything from top-of-the-line PCBs to 3D printing and even CNC services. Whether you're a seasoned engineer or a hobbyist just getting started in your hobby, their team of experts are there to make sure that your vision comes to life exactly how you wanted it. With lightning fast delivery and a super user-friendly website, it's never been easier to get started. So why wait? Head on over to PCBWay.com and give them a try. You won't be disappointed. Thanks PCBWay for sponsoring this video. Now that we have Lightburn open, we need to add your laser as a device. If this is the first time that you've used Lightburn on this computer, it'll actually automatically pop open the device window. If not, you wanna go over and click the device button right over here. Now we wanna click that find my laser button. Lightburn should automatically start searching for your laser once you do this. Click the next button and it may take a little bit, but it should find your laser. Once it finds it, it will list the laser in this window right here. Click on that and click add device. Now you should see a window pop up about importing your EasyCAD configuration. If you have EasyCAD 2 and you have a configuration already set up in EasyCAD 2, you can save that configuration and import it straight into Lightburn. This window right here will tell you how to do that. If you're like me and have not used EasyCAD before, you just wanna go ahead and click next to bypass this window. Then if you want, you can give your laser a name. A lot of people will put the size of the lens they're using at the end of the name. That way, if you have multiple different size lenses for your fiber laser, you can actually add it as a device several times with different size lenses and then configure each of those profiles for that lens. Then you're not just changing one of your lens profiles all the time for different sizes. We'll do another video on that later. So I'm gonna do another video on that later when I get another lens. So 
I'll do another, wow. I'll do another video on that laser. I'll do another video on that later, but for now, I'm just gonna use test video 175 because I have a 175 millimeter lens. Whew! Click next, then finish. And your laser has officially been loaded in the Lightbird. You can now begin the fun process of using your laser and starting to dial it in and calibrate it to get the best possible results. My friends over at Laser Everything have an amazing playlist for this, and it is just awesome to go through and calibrate video by video so your laser gets dialed in super tight. I put the link in the description below, so check out that playlist before you go any further if you're a brand new fiber laser user. I promise you won't regret it. It's a little bit of time spent, but in the end, your fiber laser is gonna be burning better and you'll understand more than you ever could have in the beginning. Real quick, please smash that like button if you liked what you saw today or you learned something. And if you have not subscribed yet and you wanna see more videos on lasers, 3D printing, and CNC, smash that subscribe button. I'm on a mission to hit 100,000 subscribers this year in 2023 and I really appreciate if you hit that subscribe button and help me out. If you wanna see another cool video about lasers, check this one out.